the mic. Hey, hey, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> What's popping everybody? Kurt Manar here from Dreamer Education where we bring you math lessons for learners and tips and advice and more for teachers. So we are back and we are about to start with our first lesson. And for our first lesson, we are focusing on natural numbers. Now, to start off this lesson, I am going to teach you a dance routine. Yes, a very liquor, short, hip-hop, bounce, dance routine. And then you have to answer two questions. Question number one. How many dance moves do you count in this dance routine? And question number two. From which number did you start counting the amount of dance moves in this dance routine? Okay, cool. So the first few dance moves goes like this. It's very basic. It's a liquor hip hop bounce. So all we're going to do is we're going to go right, left, right, left. And make sure to put that bounce in your knees, okay? So move with me now. Easy. And we're going to do it slow the first time. So let's go. Five, six, seven, go. We're going right, left, right, left. Okay, cool. Let's do it one more time. We're going right, left, right, left. Okay, for the next move, you're going to take both your arms. You're going to smack to the right, smack to the left, smack to the right, and then you're going to pose. Now, you can choose your own pose or you can copy my pose, okay? It's all good. So, all we're going to do is we're going to move our arms to the right, we're going to move our arms to the left, we're going to move our arms to the right, and then we're going to pose. Okay, so let's do it together, nice and slow. Five, six, seven, eight, and arms, 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 and pose. Remember, you can pause the video at any moment, right? Because if you still want to practice the moves on your own a bit, just hit pause, practice a bit, and then you can hit play, and then you can continue, okay? Now what we're going to do, we're going to combine the two sets of moves, all right? So we're going to go right, left, right left then arms 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 and pose you got that and when you do your arms just keep throwing your legs the way you did with the right left move so let's do it a bit faster and then we are going to do it to music so i'm going to count you in and, and five six seven eight and right left right left and arms 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 and pose let's do that one more time Five, six, seven, eight, and right, left, right, left, and arms, 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 and pose. Now, we're going to do it with music. Can you feel that? Lick. Hey, while you wait, while we're waiting for me to count us in, you can vibe a bit on your own if you want to, okay? Hey, here we go. In five, six, seven, eight, and right, and left and right and left and arms and arms and arms and pose okay cool let's do that again here we go keep moving in five six five six seven eight and right and left and right and left and arms and arms and arms and pose Lick them and well done. So now we're gonna go a bit fast, okay? Hope you're ready. And let's go in five, six, seven, go and right, left, right, left, arms, 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 toes. You good? Okay, stand ready and then we'll do it again. Here we go. Here we go in five, six, seven, eight, and right, left, right, left, arms, 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 and toes. Liquor, liquor. Okay, so now it's time for us to move and tackle the two questions that was posed at the start of this video. Question one was, how many dance moves is in the short routine that we basically just done, right? So, so let's count together. It went right, left, right, left, arms, 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 pose. So now instead of calling it right, left, right, left, arms, arms, etc., Let's put numbers to it, okay? So let's go. It's one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Huh? So question one's answer is eight. There's eight dance moves in the short dance routine. The next question was, from which number did we start counting the amount of dance moves in our short dance routine? We started counting from one. So our answer is one. So I hope you got those two right. Um, and you'll understand why we did this in a minute. From the first two questions we just answered, there's two very important things that you must know. The first very, very important thing that you must note is when we count, we start counting from the number one. Okay? When we do basic counting, we start counting from the number one. And as we count, you know, basic counting, when we're just counting things or like we're counting the dance moves, the numbers increase by one and we add one every single time. So it goes one, we add one, we get two. Two, we add one, we get three. Three, we add one, we get four, and so on. So just keep that in your mind as we tackle the next two questions. So on my left, you will see a number of tackies. Now I want you to answer these two questions again, similar to the first two questions. Question one, how many tackies do you count? And the second question is, from which number did you start counting? Let's count how many tackies there are together. Here we go, in five, six, seven, go, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yep. And the second question, from which number did we start counting? And again, we started counting from the number one. One. We started counting from the number one. And this is the thing. When we count, we can count for forever because we can always add one and it can go on for forever. So let's just check this. We're going to go one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three days later. One million, one hundred thousand and forty-five. One million, one hundred thousand and forty-six. Do you get the picture? We can go on for forever. And that is important for you to know. And another word for forever is infinity. We can continue counting to infinity. And these numbers all together form a family. Some people say family. I like to think of it as these numbers form a crew. And that crew is called counting numbers. There's another name for counting numbers. And that is natural numbers. Simple, right? Counting numbers are natural numbers. And it's probably called natural numbers because you naturally start counting from the number one. Right? Let's say you're in your room. And you pack up all your sweaters because you want to know how many sweaters you have. So you lay the sweaters out and you start counting. You don't start counting naught, one, two, three, four, five, six. When you start counting, you don't start counting from naught because you don't naturally count including naught. Or you don't go one, two, two and a half, two and a quarter, two and a three, four, five. You don't do that. When you count, you naturally count by increasing by one. So you'll go one, two, three, four, five. And that is it. It's pretty simple. Now, when I think about representing a set of natural numbers, my mind automatically goes to the visual representation of graffiti. Like, I know graffiti when I see it. You know, it's bold, it's colorful. The artist usually leaves their tag there, like their signature that they've done it. But I know graffiti when I see it. Now, the same goes for the set of natural numbers. Even though it may not look the same, yes, we can graffiti the natural numbers. But when we represent it mathematically, we will know it when we see it, right? It has its special properties and characteristics and natural numbers are special. This is how we would mathematically represent a set of natural numbers. We would say capital N equals open curly bracket one, two, three, four, five, dot, 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 close curly bracket. The curly brackets name is also braces, but I'll just stick to curly brackets for this video. Let me break down what that means. Do you know when you're chatting on WhatsApp to your friends and you type laugh out loud? You don't type in laugh out loud all three words, you just type L-O-L, -L, 
LOL is a shorter version of laugh out loud. So instead of writing natural numbers, the full two words, when we put the capital in there, we know when we see that, that it is referring to natural numbers. Then obviously equals to because natural numbers equals which numbers do they equal? And then we have one, two, three, four, five. And let's say we stop at five because we do know that with natural numbers, we can count for forever, right? And you saw earlier, you, you're going to count literally for forever. It's going to take all the time in your life. So we start by five. We put dot, dot, dot there. And those dots just mean it's going on forever. Close curly bracket. Now for interest sake, those curly brackets in maths are the brackets that is used to represent sets, you know, sets of data. And you'll see it more often as we focus on different types of numbers, but that's our focus for today. So again, remember, when we mathematically represent natural numbers, it's a capital N, that N stands for natural numbers, equals, open curly bracket, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, dot, 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 close curly bracket. The next part that we're going to focus on is which numbers aren't natural numbers. And it's going to be easy for us to figure out because we know what natural numbers are. The first one is negative numbers aren't natural numbers, also known as negative integers. They aren't natural numbers. You know, when we were counting the tackies earlier, we didn't start by minus four. We didn't go minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, no, we didn't. We started by one. Basic counting starts by one. Negative numbers are in natural numbers. Negative numbers are in natural numbers. The next number is fractions. Fractions are in natural numbers either. Again, when we were counting the tackies and we were busy with counting our dance moves, right? We didn't go one, one and a half, two, two and a half, two and a third, two and a fourth, three. Nope. So fractions are in natural numbers. Remember, our set, it increases by one every single time. And the third numbers, which are natural numbers, are decimals. Again, when we count the tackies and our dance moves, and if you have to start counting anything in the house now, or counting beats, or counting whatever, and I mean, you can try, check it for yourself, right? Um, don't just take my word for it, test it, study it. Go look at what other people are saying. Check what the books are saying. Okay, sit down with your mother, your father, your grandparents, guardians, friends, and you do the homework. You know, don't just take what I say or other people and just believe it. Sit and do your own research, okay? And if you started at this age or wherever you are now, it's going to help. So again, when we counted, we didn't go 1, 1 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, 2. Nope. Did we see that in our natural number set that we looked at earlier? We didn't because we increase by one all the time. We don't increase by point something. Okay? So now we know those three numbers aren't natural numbers. Negative numbers or negative integers aren't natural numbers. Fractions aren't natural numbers. Decimals aren't natural numbers. Okay? We are going to do the dance routine we did at the start of the lesson, but we're going to do it over and over and over. So we're going to go right, left, right, left, arms, 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 pose, and right, left, right, left, and arms, arms, arms. Okay, cool. So remember, while the, when the beat starts, you can just vibe on your own. And I know you guys have some liquor dance moves. What's an old school floss move? Something like that, right? Ooh, something like it. Okay. And I'm going to count us in on five, six, seven, go, and one. Two, three, four, arms, 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 pose. One, two, three, four, arms, 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 pose. And one, two, three, four, and arms, 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 pose. And one more time. Two, three, four, and arms, 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 pose. Did you get that? Huh? Was it liquor? If you want to continue, remember, you can press pause, dance a bit more, and then get back to the computer and watch the last section of this lesson. So we've reached the last section of the lesson on natural numbers, okay? It's a very important property or characteristic of natural numbers, right? And it's very simple, but it can get a bit complicated if you're not zoned in. Okay, so in mathematics, we will say that natural numbers are closed under addition. That just means that a natural number 
plus another natural number will also give you a natural number. In math it's called the closure property. And it just means that in this example, I'll say it again, that when you take a natural number and you add it to another natural number, your answer will always be a natural number. So let's just take an example. Let's look at the number two and we add it to the number four. Now two is a natural number and four because we start counting at one and we increase by one, we'll get to two and we'll get to four. So if we say two plus four, our answer will be six. Two plus four is six. And six is also a natural number. Now, the same thing goes for multiplication. If we take a natural number and we multiply it by another natural number, our answer will also be a natural number. So again, we will say that natural numbers are closed under multiplication. It's just a mathematical way of saying a natural number times a natural number gives you another natural number. But let's look at an example. 4 is a natural number and 2 is also a natural number. And if we say 4 times 2, that will give us 8. 8 is also a natural number. There you go. Natural numbers are closed under addition and multiplication. But is it the same for subtraction and division? Let's check. If I take... 4 minus 2. 4 is a natural number, 2 is a natural number. 4 minus 2 will give me 2. 2 is also a natural number. So for that example, it works. Okay. But let's look at another example. Let's take 8 minus 10. 8 is a natural number. 10 is also a natural number. 8 minus 10 will give me negative 2. And is negative 2 a natural number? No. As we said earlier, negative numbers are not natural numbers. And that is proof that natural numbers aren't closed under subtraction. And that is because a natural number minus a natural number won't always give me another natural number. Now, let's end this off. And now we're just going to check division. And then that is a wrap. Let's take 6 divided by 3. 6 is a natural number. 3 is a natural number. 6 divided by 3 will give me 2. 2 is also a natural number. So for that example, it works. However, let's say we say 10 divided by 20. 10 is a natural number. 20 is also a natural number. But 10 divided by 20 is going to give me a half. And a half is a fraction. And fractions aren't natural numbers. And therefore, we can say that natural numbers aren't closed under division. Natural numbers are only closed under addition and multiplication. So that brings us to the end of video lesson number one. We really hope that you found the lesson valuable. I really hope that it has deepened your understanding of natural numbers. Thank you so, so much.